sentencing day in Pinellas County for a former business executive found guilty of murdering his estranged wife and her boyfriend almost four years ago. That same jury uh, that convicted Patrick Evans also recommended the death penalty. Eric Waxler is live at the courthouse now. Eric. Hi there, Danny. At 1.30, the judge will hand down his decision on Patrick Evans' fate. Evans was vice president at j -Bill Circuit. Now there are only two possibilities for him. A life sentence or a death sentence. The murders happened just before Christmas in 2008 at the Gulfport townhouse where Elizabeth Evans lived. Someone in the home called 911, and while there was no conversation with the dispatcher, audio of the murders was caught on tape. Sit down the bed, Jerry. I'll sit down. Let's put the gun. Hey, hey. Evans and her boyfriend, Jerry Taylor, were both shot to death, and a jury believed it was Patrick Evans who pulled the trigger. After the verdict, Evans' mother asked the jury not to give her son the death penalty. I beg you not to do that. If there's anything else, if I could say, I beg. And it is common practice for a judge to follow the jury's recommendation. And again, in this case, they recommended death. I'll have up to the second news on this case coming up. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and also on ABCActionNews.com. For now, live in Largo, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.